Hi, this is Andrea from This Knitted Life. I wanted to take a moment to share with you one of my newest patterns called the Pansy Land Cow. This is a collaboration with indie dyer Allison Barnes, who hails from Canada. One of my favorite features about this cow is that it has an optional tapered neckline. Using short rows, the back end of the cow is a little bit higher than the front with a soft edge. If short rows aren't your thing, or you prefer a standard cow, you can just skip the short row section and cast off for a standard jig. Spring is always such a tease for me. We get a few nice days and I think, okay, winter is over, I made it. It's time to bust out the t-shirts. And then I see the daffodils and I'm feeling extra awesome and extra spunky. And then it starts raining or snowing and it's wet and cold and the snow falls on all my tulips. So in order to help with that, there's this cowl, which one of the reasons I really love it is it has this optional tapered neckline where it's a little bit higher in the back than it is in the front. And it's totally optional if you don't want to do short rows, just skip that part and you can cast off and have a standard cowl shape. But if you do, then you get a little bit of an extra snuggle, a little bit of a different shape uh, to really keep you warm on those wet spring days or just have a different line to your cowl. So that's why I love this cowl. It just feels so springy to me, but it also, the reality is, is you still need knitwear in the spring because it's not 70 degrees yet, or at least not every day. The main stitch pattern for the Pansy Land Cowl uses a simple twist stitch technique, which I will show you in a separate video. I love this stitch because it adds texture while not being too busy. I love the colors in this yarn. I think Allison did such a fabulous job capturing what a pansy really looks like and it just screams spring to me.